I hit the button. I hit the button. It says I'm live. Sid, can you check? Why don't you load it up on your phone? Hi, everybody. It's on YouTube's. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. I think we're live. Uh, I just uh, <laughs> I just got to know if my audio is any good. That's always the, the tough part, right? That's always the tough part. If your audio is any good, I'm showing, I'm showing good audio. You'll have to let me know. Here, wait, wait, look at this. We have camera two. Camera two. Look at that. Let's do this. Let's go. You bet. Everybody's like, let's go. Everybody, okay, we see you. Audio and video is good, Joel from JS3D. So that's where we're going to be. Okay, sweet. Well, let's, um, we'll, let, we'll let the people gather in, right? The show doesn't start exactly at that time. It looks and sounds good. Okay, Sydney says hi. She says it looks and sounds good. She said it looks and sounds good. Man, okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> I hope everybody went to wuxn3d.com and took a look at this machine. It's a, it's a, it's a fancy machine. It's, uh, it's not a low-cost machine, but it has a very s specific market it's attempting to enter and capitalize on and be an alternative for. So I think that'll be an interesting conversation. It's not like, um, uh, it's not like the Prusa Minis that Sydney and I put together. There's no assembly required. You're supposed to be able to pull it out of the box and just print with it. Oh man, we already got something. What the... What the goodness? Loyal Moses with 25. Don't start, man. Okay, $25. That's a few milkshakes right there. That is a few. Uh, GRHM Home, shout out from the 3D Printers Discord. <laughs> Wait, my Discord? Or uh, whatever. $2. Thank you for that. Thank you for those, those, uh, those $2. Uh, oh, and I just got a text from Chris Russell. You are a Memorex and audio is good. Bam. Uh, I moved this light back here just a little bit. There's, I don't know if you can see this little thing right here. That's the, that's the, <laughs> that's the blue light. That's the blue light. Um, and that's just sheetrock. I'm going to paint it white at some point and that'll help the blue light reflect. I've also changed up the lights. I've got instead of being lights on tripods, I've attached them to ceiling mounts and now uh, there's a lot more room for stuff to exist. Oh, oh my goodness. JS3D with 20. High five, Joel and Sean. Well, thank you for that. Uh, high five right back to you. Sean is in Michigan. He might be watching. He might be in the chat. I don't know. But Sean, if you're there, I miss you, buddy. <laughs> Chris Trout. Let's finish that video and drink a beer. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Chris. Okay. Chris Trout of uh, Level 52 is a, is a collectibles company. So they do a lot of resin 3D printing, lots and lots and lots of resin 3D printing. And the goal is to get down there, and we, we had shot something originally, we just have to reshoot it, but we've got five resin tips from the professionals. Like Chris and his crew, they're the ones that are, that are grinding away in their shop, finding the most, the, the, the most, efficient way to print with and post-process resin prints, whether that's the material, whether that's with uh, cleaning, painting, you name it. We're gonna get we're gonna get some really good tips from Chris. And if that's something you're interested in, you'll get to see that soon. Plus he promised me a beer and so we're going to shoot a successful episode and then we're gonna have a beer. It's gonna be wonderful. Uh, wait, Eddie Mosier, 2501 I'm going to need you to make this printer work. If you can do that, that would be great. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> it's supposed to work. It's supposed to work right out of the box. Legit. Legit, that's what's supposed to happen. Project R3D, 2699. Are you out of my mind? One upping. Loyal Moses. I, I know your name's Loyal, but I can't say Loyal without Moses. Loyal Moses, man. <laughs> it's just funny. Here, wait. Camera two, look at this. So. Typically, I've had this camera right here on um, like a little short tripod that I could kind of move around and stuff. But while there's this box here, there's not really that much room. So I thought, well, why not? Um, why not just put it on a tripod right there? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Uh, let's see if I can get, hold on, hold on. Let's see, I gotta move that. And then say hi, Sid. Hi. There we go. Oh, look, you can see the craft bot right there. Got a video coming up on that. Boy, howdy. <laughs> oh, boy, howdy. Oh, I'm missing them, aren't I? Okay, so Project R30, Ben, Ben, $49.99. Are you out of your mind? High five from Tiffy's Lemonade Stand. What is Tiffy's, what is Tiffy's Lemonade Stand? I like lemonade. Do you like lemonade, Sid? Yes, I'm drinking it right now. Sid likes lemonade. She's drinking it right now. <laughs> Dave Randolph, this printer is less than $38,000. So my prediction, he won't break this one. That's, uh, that's accurate. Look at this box though. I mean, this is, this is a legit box, right? Look at that. Wuxin. 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 Uh, James is their chief marketing officer at Wuxin 3D. They're out of uh, Fort Collins, Fort Collins, Colorado, where another open source 3D printer manufacturer once heralded from. And uh, James, I asked James where Wuxin came from, and I think, I think if I remember correctly, James said it's four letters and they sounded good. I can't fault him on that. Hey, Chapman. Oh, that craft bot. Oh, Chapman. Oh, Chapman. I can't wait for you to see the update on the craft bot, you and everybody else, because um, it is not what you expect, and it takes some incredible twists that I did not expect at all. <laughs> I have the script ready. It's fascinating. And I'll get that filmed as soon as I can. And I'll get the B-roll shot and then Sean will put it together. It'll look amazing. But man, that, oh, that's going to that's gonna be fun. Uh, SM3D, what flavor rock star is that new? Is that never seen it? Oh, it's new. Okay, so well, here, let's go to, let's go to two. So uh, this is uh, the Pure Zero and it is, um, it is tangerine, mango, guava, strawberry. It's all the best flavors. Hi, Sid. Hi. What you doing? Just oh, okay. You can, you can say hi. Sid's got school in the morning, so she can't stay out too late. So mommy's gonna get her in a bit. In a bit. High five from down under from uh, C Ren sixty nine seventy seven. An Aussie five is that is that uh, is that dollary dues? Isn't that what they do in Australia? Dollary dues. Maker's Muse, can you confirm? <laughs> Apple teeny eye gross bro. Listen, I like what I like. You shut up. <sighs> mm. According to YouTube, we have some people in here. What do you say we open this box? What do you say? So uh, for box opening, do you want camera one or camera two? Camera one, camera two. Which camera do you want to see uh, see me take it out of the box with? I need to know. That's that's the first step, right? That's the, the power of the process right there. Oh, wait. Where's my... Um... Oh, there it is. I had my, what am I not? I'm, I'm gonna use my Evan and Caitlin knife. Let's see, JS3D votes camera two, 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 lots of twos, lots of twos. Uncle Jesse, has anyone said Wuxin off, Wuxin on <laughs> camera two? I got some ones there. Okay, looks like the vote is split, so we'll go back and forth. So we'll start with two, we'll start with two. Oof. It is, a, it is a nice box. It says uh, Wuxin there with some umlauts. I think that's an umlaut. 3D printing market, Wuxin TM, made in the USA. Okay, let's uh, spin it around, okay. WX1, because it is the Wuxin w, WX1 3D printer. Uh, this side, Nothing special, nothing special. Mm. And this side, more tape. Okay, well that's a tour of the box. So let's go to camera one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Laura Moses, smash that like button. That's right, that's right. So 
apparently, apparently, the more likes a stream gets, the more probable it is that YouTube will actually promote it to my audience. So I have 420,000 subscribers, something like that, way less than Maker's Muse. And I think that if you hit the like button, there's a better chance of YouTube actually showing it to the people that are subscribed to the channel. Evan and Caitlin knife. Oh, it's really tall. Let's see. Okay, luckily, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I didn't do so well. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. It's, uh, it is packaged really well. I mean, obviously, it shipped from uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. I mean, honestly, that's, uh, I could drive there. So for them to ship it from there and to have it look good, uh, it's, not, uh, it's not an amazing feat, but at the same time, I, I think it's, it's a good sign. Michael Grugel, $10, high five from Fix Some Dude. Fix Some Dude! Everybody, that's Fix Some Dude. The, uh, wait, the creator of the giant TIE Interceptor and Millennium Falcon, or Space Benji, that we showed off on an episode, when was that? Last Sunday? Sunday before last? Oh, uh, I'm about to get this out of the box, but one of the things I do want to say, we released an episode for Fotis Mint's birthday, and I released it Thursday night. He's in Hungary. Thursday night, around 10 p.m., 11 p.m., my time, which was going to be when he wakes up in the morning, Friday. It was really off schedule for me. I don't know if everybody knew that it was released or saw it, but it had far fewer views than anything else on the channel. And so if you didn't know that that video exists, now you do. And uh, if, if you want to come back to the stream and go watch that, you can. Or, or just watch it after the stream. Add it to your watch list or your bookmarks. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Okay. I will, uh, I will tilt it. Look at that. Cardboard. Cardboard. Trying to take it out just kind of carefully. Okay, so uh, cardboard with some foam uh, cut out in a very specific shape. That is great for keeping stuff on. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> it's literally, literally right there. Let's, um, let's go to and uh, filament from uh, Wuxin Makes Paramount 3D. Okay, so they, uh, they sent some PLA and it looks to be a, a green. Let's take a look. Paolo Polato, uh, hello from Brazil. Love your work, a heart. Thanks for, thanks for the five Brazilian dollars. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know what it is in Brazil, but thank you very much. It's very kind of you. High five south of the equator. Here we go. There we go. That's not too bad, right? That's a green. It's a green. I always like it when spools are clear. I like a clear spool. It's nice. Back to that one. And I need a step stool. Oh, okay. So this is the divider that uh, that kept things in check. On this side, here we go. We've got, um, this is Paramount 3D Fighter Jet Blue. What a fun name for a filament. Here's a US power cord, go figure. They're in Fort Collins, Colorado. And, oh, look at this. Look at this. This is, this is nice, okay. Oh wait, I have to, sh there we go. Okay. Uh, sort of smarter. Oh my God. A full spool of filament. Yes. A full spool of filament. And I honestly, okay. So this is a review machine. I don't know if that full spool is for everybody or if that was for me for review, obviously I'll confirm. Uh, but I believe I was sent a retail package. Oh, look at this. It is a handwritten note. Thank you for the purchase of the WX-1 in support of Maker's 
for makers. Instructions can be found on the SD card in the accessories box. And as always, and as always, may the print be with you, Team Wuxin. So look at that. They hand wrote a little, I think it's handwritten. I don't think that, I mean, it's got little, I think that was handwritten. That's a nice touch. It's a nice touch. You wanna see it? Careful, there's wires over there. Robert Hay, $5 from Texas. High five to you, Robert. Builders Mark, $5.99. Are you out of your mind? Step stool fund. Listen, on the big $38,000 3D printer, we will be building furniture. And by that, I mean a step stool. How awesome would that be? This, this right here is an accessories box. So, Waxen, 3D printing market. And, uh,. Oh, it's got a sticker. I was like, I don't know how to open this. Now I do. Here we go. Hex keys. Uh, snips, T-nuts, Elmer's glue, USB cable, memory card. And uh, it says it's, it's like a silicone and it says build tech. I don't know. One of the things I want you to notice though, the hex keys, have a look, have a look. They're the ball end hex keys. That's the first time I've ever got a 3D printer or 3D printer kit that had ball end type hex keys. I, I think that's kind of nice. I do prefer those over the non ball ball end. Uh, oh no, I'm missing some. Eddie Mosier with five green filament from a printer company in Colorado. How original. Oh, Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> Loyal Moses with a $5.99 for the step stool fund. You guys are killing me. I will make one, I promise. I'm looking. I believe, I believe Jacob from Filament One is going to be sending some 285 filament my way for the giant 3D printer. I'm kind of excited about this. What is that? Project R3D, the site only says filament sample, but I'm excited to see how the Paramount material is. Never tried it. Same with me. Um, my goal, my guess is the filament sample is enough to print something on the SD card. That's my goal. I'll put this in. We'll see what happens. Oh my goodness. It's legit time to take the printer out. <laughs> Something's rolling around in there. Oh. Oh, okay. So look at that. First of all, I mean, there's the printer. That looks good. Look at this. This is a test print and it is a hamster. And it's green and it looks like, uh, it looks like Paramount filament. Cool. Uh, I do notice right off the bat. This is a, this is a test print. I do notice inconsistent extrusion on the layers. Have a look. Granted, there's a light directly above, so that, I mean, you're going to see every, every problem with it, but I mean, I like it. I think it looks good, but there's some inconsistencies there, so you should know about that. Oh man, this cardboard. I don't wanna step on it. Here, let me move that. Cool. How's everybody doing? Have I missed, I've missed something. Raymond Rodriguez. Hola from Dominican Republic, $5.99. You're out of your mind, Ramon. Thank you for that. <laughs> Here it is, it's out of the box. Great stream, see you later. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look at that, I want you to, I want you to have a look-see because this is the machine right, right here. So, oh, let's turn it, let's see. There we go. Looks like it's got the build plate. It is a, uh, it is a magnetic 
build plate for sure. It's um, 220 on the X, 220 on the Y, and 220 on the Z or Z. So it's a, it is a 220 millimeter cube. There is a lot of 3D printed parts on this. I see a lot of them. And I wanna say, well, just if, if you, it, it looks like the parts have the Cura fuzzy skin sort of look to them. I want you to take a closer look. I want you to, let's see if I can't zoom you in here. So have a look right there, right there. And then I will, I'm gonna show you right up top. No, I'm not, okay. <laughs> I wonder if you could see, here, I'll tell you what. There we go. So right, right there. That's kind of a fuzzy skin, right? It's kind of a fuzzy skin. That's what I'm thinking. Nerdy Cruise, $4.99. Are you out of your mind? Oh, and uh, Steven did something too. Joel, let's have a step stool build contest. I would like to give that a go. Maybe limited to Tinkercad or Fusion 360. That's kind of a fun idea. What if, Loyal, you're still in the chat, right? What if, what if, what if we had a step stool building contest and then we used a site to collect all the entries and then you and I and a few chosen others would vote on the digital designs we like the best and then I would print them out and then the community would vote and then the winner would get the Prusa Mini that you've pledged to give away on the channel. What do you think about that? I'm really curious because a step stool is one of those things where it is easy to design. It's easy to design an easy one, but there's a lot of ways that you could design it to take advantage of certain characteristics of additive manufacturing. Plus, it's one of those things where the, 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 the design of a step stool could be easy enough for anyone to be able to enter. It wouldn't take someone with deep knowledge of SolidWorks. It would just be like Steven said, Tinkercad could do it. I'm kind of, that, that seems kind of like a cool idea and it lets everybody in. I don't know. That seems kind of fun. Seems kind of fun. Sorry, I had to take a sip of something. So if we look at this, oh here, I'm gonna go back to this one. Let me set this up. Bam. So here's the lots of 3D printed parts. Here is the spool holder. Oh, and it looks like it's got some zip ties on there. I'm gonna take those apart with the handy dandy set of flush cutters. Loyal with five, why me and a step stool contest? Cause I am short. No, 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 because you pledged the Prusa Mini. So you, that's why. I figured you were awesome. I don't care how tall you are, you're awesome. So. I'm not even going to worry about it. Let's get these zip ties out of the way. Here we go. Oh, have a look. Okay, so this is the standard Prusa uh, spool holder you get. They have modified it a bit because it's gonna connect with uh, T-nuts up here. But look at it, it looks, it looks like it's got a fuzzy skin on it. That's kind of cool. So this is gonna go like so up here, and this is a filament sensor, and that'll, oh, cool, okay, and that kind of moves. I like that, look at. So the filament gets loaded here, goes into the sensor, down to the extruder. Cool. Well, let's let's get that spool holder installed, shall we? Uh, builder's mark, design specs, width, height, etc. Yes, those will all have to be taken into consideration. The goal I would the goal would be I would get some ideas as to 
the, the specs of the contest because I want everybody to be able to participate, but at the same time, I want uh, anybody to be able to design, but there has to be limits to what, what people are doing. Um, I don't know, it's not, the, it's not the last idea. It might not be the end all idea, but I thought it was interesting enough to take pause and, and shout it out, see if you guys liked it. Keep forgetting which camera to look at, I'm sorry. I'll get this spool holder installed. Uh, the parts feel strong. I'm happy about that. <laughs> I need more hands. Okay. Go back to that one. Okay, that's on there pretty well. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention, and I'll do that right now, is that. Uh, this machine is priced at $949 US. Uh, they did tell me about a coupon. If you put in 3D Printing Nerd for the next 30 days, they're offering $50 off and free shipping within the US, which I think is handy. Uh, but at $949, it's a curious price, right? And it's a curious size. I think that, I think what they're doing is, is attempting to go after a bit of the Prusa market because a fully assembled Mark III S from Prusa is $9.99. $9.99, are you out of your mind? Uh, and, and with that, it's fully assembled, it ships to you and it's ready to print out of the box. $9.49, uh, similar design, obviously, but it's supposed to ship right out of the box. So they're using a, a BuildTac magnetic flex plate. Um, it looks like you do have to eyeball it. They don't have the things in the back like the Prusa that allows you to put it in, let it down. Uh, that's not a deal breaker. Uh, also, it's got, uh, oh wait. Okay, so right here, let me see if I can't zoom in for you because I think there's an interesting design choice there. I'm gonna have to hold it. Here we go. If you look at the bottom of the bed, they have rigid spacers where the springs should be. Okay. So standoffs in four corners. I kind of like that. That's not too bad, right? That's not too bad. Uh, I did see another, there we go. I had to snip that. Any more? Was it? Uh, if you look here, look at this. X is riding on a linear rail. Well, 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 a linear rail. Uh, and Y is on linear rails as well. Look at that. Wow. That's kind of. It's kind of nice right there. I like a good linear rail. Let me reset this camera. Yeah, there we go. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's see if I can. I don't know if that, that did it, but I took the screen protector off. Look at this. Oh, that's, I don't know if you can see it. It's a handy little. What? Okay, what is, 
Okay, uh, right here, this is the power supply and it looks like they have a 3D printed vent cover to instead of venting the air up, it vents it out to the side, which would I imagine then help with uh, the bed maintaining a temperature. Okay, uh, dual cooling fans into some 3D printed ducts. The, wow, like the extruder housing, all of it looks pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that is a cool look. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Here we go. I'll get you. So look at that. Have a look at that. That is, this looks cool. Uh, I'm not going to lie. This looks cool. I like how the arm here is pretty beefed up. Pretty darn beefy. And it looks like it is, uh, It's a, it's got uh, some gearing in there. I think it's grabbing it from both sides. Uh, behind it though, it's not easy to see, but behind it is a slice Copperhead. I know lots of people have played with the mosquito. That is a slice, uh, slice copperhead. Slice copperhead. Well, shoot, that's kind of fun. Legit, it's out of the box. It is out of the box. Um, it looks like there's a, a plastic, it's PEI, but is there a plastic cover on it? Like, <laughs> Take a look. So, oh, shoot. Boy, I suck at the camera, don't I? Sorry about that. <laughs> but here, have a look. I think it's got a layer of protection on it. Ha ha! Okay, there we go. That's better. Look at that. Ah, oh, so much better. There we go, and it looks like that is, uh, I would imagine that is a, maybe a PEI? Maybe not. Okay. Rocking and rolling there. Well, let's plug it in. Let's plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Hey Sid, will you help? Yeah. See the rail on the front of the desk there? Yeah. Let me get this plugged in first and then you plug it in that rail for me. Well, it's just any one of the ones that are free under here. Like, is there one? Whatever the next one over is. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I will. Uh-oh. See, let's go on this one. Uh, Taylor Schumacher, 20. I, I spy some Noctua on this machine. They're the quietest fans you can buy. They have a distinctive color. Uh, yes, there is a single Noctua fan right there. Hey, good day, Joel from Melbourne, Australia. Thanks for all the quality content over the years. Auss Aussie 5, thank you. Okay. Do we, do we print? I think we do. Let's turn it on first. Here we go. Marlin bug fix 2.0.x. Sweet. Oh, there we go. I think that uh, uh, Bill Steele on Twitter 
in response to my tweet, he said that it looked like an interesting machine, but they're still using this this readout, this sort of the screen. And he's like, uh, maybe a touch screen or a color screen, something would make a difference. UI sells a machine. He's not wrong. Peter Sassman with five. Hello, Peter Sassman. I will keep being awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Timothy Hoogland, is this seriously single Z? It most certainly is. It is a single Z. So uh, there are two schools of thought on that. There are people that say dual Z or die. And uh, then there's the Chuck Hellebucks that prefer single Z because it takes uh, the intermittent steps out of the way or something like that. I don't know. Are you team dual Z? <laughs> David Randolph. Yes, I'm worried about a single Z as well. Uh, I, I have to admit, so I like a dual Z machine. I, I have used single Z machines and I will be using a single Z machine and I don't know if, I don't know, we'll find out, right? We'll find out. SD card goes in the side. Okay, media inserted it says, that's wonderful. I should probably preheat, get some filament in there. Look at that, jet, jet fighter blue. That is a fun color right there. Solid green day, dual Z with belt that sinks them. With belt that sinks them, I like that. The CR6 has a dual Z with a belt that sinks them. Uh, I did run into an issue where the sink was off and, and while the belts were synced, they were synced while the X axis was crooked. And so I had to um, undo the grub screws and just kind of turn it and get it synced again. But I mean, it worked. Temperature. I wonder if they got a preheat. Let's find out. I'll tell you what. Let's take a look at this, uh, this menu here. Let's, I'll go back here. I'll get you set up. Look at that. Bam. Well, you're not going to be able to see it if I do that. So look at that knob though, to turn it. Change filament about printer print from media. Let's go to about, let's see what it says. Board info. BTTSKRV 1.4. Okay. Printer stats. Oh, let's see. Any stats on it yet? Um, print count five completed. Five total print time. Two hours, 14 minutes. Okay. So this has been burned in for a couple hours. Excellent. Oh, there we go. Preheat PLA. Let's just do it all, baby. Preheat PLA. We're going to take the nozzle to 210, and it looks like we're going to take the bed to 50. Cool. How's everybody doing while it's preheating? Let's take a check in. I see. Did I miss uh, Taylor Schumacher? No, I got you with the Noctua's. Project R3D, $5. Triple Z for life. <laughs> Uh, the the a triple Z is 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 the most accurate way to do a bed tramming. Correct? I mean, I've been wrong before, but correct me. Correct me if I'm wrong. David Randolph, SKR board, interesting for an American company to go with that board. Uh, why so, David? I'm curious. Uh, I'm not I'm not hip on my boards. I don't really know my boards as well as others, and so I'd love to hear why why that's the case, because I don't know. I don't know. I, I did see an introductory video. So there was, um, I, uh, James from Wuxin 3D did send me Cura profiles. And along with that was an unboxing video. Uh, I just kind of skimmed through it to make sure I wasn't gonna tear this thing apart. Uh, I did see though that um, they didn't show taking this off, but legit, this isn't, this is plastic. This is not, this is not anything. And so I think that was a protective layer. Plus, uh, they showed putting glue stick down. So I don't know. So glue stick. 
Jatman, trim your fingertips off with the side of that machine, that fan. Ouch. What? What? I don't understand what you said. I'm sorry. All right, let's get the, uh, we're at temperature, so let's, I, I hate, I hate a filament coil. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, but you have to kind of undo it. <laughs> there we go. Put it up here. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Looks like it didn't really want to. It's got a little bend at the end of it, and so it didn't really want to go through. Uh, we are warmed up. You know, instead, I'm gonna. I am going to do a change filament procedure. Insert filament and press the button. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, it is not drawing the filament down. How about now? It is not drawing the filament down. Okay, stand by. Ah, there we go. It looks like it was misaligned. Okay, so now it's at the purge more. So I would imagine, yeah, it's got some. There we go, it's gripping that. I can see some filament coming out there. Here, let's go, let's go here. Oh, geez. There we go. Don't mind me with the crazy camera moves. <laughs> there we go. James B, five dollars. High five, high five James B. We'll go back here. Um, okay, continue. Print paused, heating nozzle. I don't know what that means. Print, uh, print paused. Please wait. So if you look down there, I'm getting a print pause. Oh, okay, WX1 ready. Oh, so it looks like it was preheating or something. So let's go print from media. You know, one of the things, uh, I mean, if you've got Marlin, you have full control and you can just any of your changes, you release them under the same license. Um, anytime you stick an SD card in the machine, print should be one of the, the top things. Like I don't wanna, it's just an annoyance, but if you put a machine, or if you put a card in the machine, there's a good chance you're gonna wanna print something from that card. So why not either detect it or put print at the very top, just because SD card insert it and then show the card. You know, maybe something like that. That might be a, might be a thing. Uh, it's just a, <sighs> whatever. Okay, so let's go back here. And if I go here, so we've got um, troubleshooting. Oh, the LCD knob. Gloomy angels. Uh, I, did, I did hear from James. We're not supposed to print gloomy angels. There's an error on the card. Low poly ganger. Uh, the guinea pig that we saw earlier. Articulated shaw. Articulated Shaw. Shaw? It's not, it's, I don't, it, it's not scrolling, so. Okay. Uh, bolt and nut. And 3D Benchy. Well, hey, I'll leave it up to you guys. What should we, I'm, 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 uh, I'm going towards uh, bolt and nut or 3D Benchy. Bolt and, I mean, 3D Benchy, right? 3D Benchy? Let's do 3D Benchy. I like that. I like the idea of a 3D Benchy. What'd I miss? Jordan McClintock, $5. I'm still waiting on my CR6SE to be delivered. It'll be my first printer since you've had yours a while. 
What do you think of it? And did I choose well? Uh, my CR6 SE died. I plugged a USB cord into the USB port. And as I was doing that, there was an electrical spark. Uh, Naomi Wu asked if it was like a static shark or a static spark or a non or a, you know an electrical spark and I said it was not a static spark and in fact I've confirmed that the board is dead I've talked to Creality they have a solution they're sending me a board and I have to make an update video for you um, so just know when you get your CR6 SE if there's problems with it talk to Creality immediately so they can get you a new board there we go Benchy Benchy someone said Shaw <laughs> Uh, 3D Benchy, Bolton Nut, Bolton Nut, Bolton Nut, classic Benchy, yeah. Let's do, um, let's do Bolton Nut. I bet it'll be quick. Let's do Bolton Nut. And then if it's successful, then we'll start the Benchy. How about that? <laughs> I believe it is sensorless homing. I believe. Oh, I know, I know. I'm really sorry I'm bringing you along for this ride, but... What's that? Okay. At the Mosier with five, Team Static Shark. <laughs> Timothy Hoogland, 3D Benchy or Bust, $5. Thanks, Tim. Uh, Tim, I promise, I promise I will get the Benchy printed. I'm going to do the bolt and nut first. But then the Benchy will be printed, and uh, if it ends up going longer than the stream, I can always post it to the Twitters, and then you can take a look at it. Uh... Yannick Moran, don't forget to clean the bed. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to, it looks to be. Oh, okay. Bed might be okay. It's, uh, it's printing. I thought I might have to adjust the Z, but uh, Z looks pretty darn good. Here, I'll zoom you guys in. Well, here, wait. I'll <laughs> put you here. And then I'll zoom you in. Oh, look at that. Ready? Ready? Boom. I can, I can touch the, uh, the single Z, and it does move slightly. Okay, honestly, that first layer is looking really good. Really good. Uh, Timothy Hoogland, $2. Benchy. Timothy Hoogland, $2. Need Benchy. Timmy. Timothy. I will get you a Benchy. Oh, bye, Sid. Love you. you want to say bye to everybody? Yeah. Okay, you have to come around here. No, no. Watch out for the box. Sid's going to say bye real quick. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, you have to do that one. You can talk. Right. Bye. Okay. We'll get her on another stream again. That was really fun, wasn't it, last time? Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll try to get another uh, daddy-daughter build. Have a good night. Bye. Can Sleep you well. The home? Yes, I will bring the pickles home. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Loyal Moses. $50! Bolton nut. Jeez, man. Killing me. Well, there's the bolton nut. It's a milkshake money right there. Oh, I missed another one, didn't I? Timothy Hoogland, $5. Tyler West is best. Derek Sorello, $5. Benchy? Who's Tyler? So what? There's this weird clicking noise. See if you can listen. I don't know what that is.
The layers are looking really good. Really good. Oh, I wonder. Let me try something. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, no. There we go. I'll be right up there. Okay. Well, it's printing now. Uh, for $50, that bolt and nut should be bigger. Just saying. Well, Loyal, obviously, I mean, I'm, I'm constrained by the size of this machine. If you'd like a big, no, a big bolt and a big nut, I've got a machine for you. Maybe I'll send these to you. you I'll, I'll send you this. Loyal, I will send you this bolt and this nut if it succeeds. <laughs> That's the least I could do for your milkshake money, man. Uh, solid green day. That sounds like an issue with the 3D printed parts. I have that sound too on my 3D printed fan duct. Interesting. <laughs> David Randolph, yeah. Chris Riley loves to print the Benchy. It's like a creek. I can, I can touch right here. I can touch the belt and that knock transmits the vibrations through the belt. So my guess is it has something to do with the y-axis. Boy, I'm on a roll, aren't I? <laughs> Jack D, the clicking is the mesh bed leveling kicking in. Thanks for being such a great YouTuber. Is it? No, 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 no. That's not the mesh bed leveling. Mesh bed leveling, I can, uh, I have my finger on the y-axis motor right back here, and it's moving just slightly, just slightly. So it's something else, and I will investigate. Wait, wait. Okay, uh, <laughs> here, wait, let me. It's coming from here, right here. I can feel it. I think it has, to, it sounds like there's two pieces of plastic together, and when they shift, they make that noise. Just an ever slightly shift. Uh, rang, uh, ranganathan. Ranganathan? Sound eron, Ranganathan, 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 Sounder Ra, Sounder Ra Rajan. High five from India. Your videos inspired me to get a printer and start learning. Love your content. Thank you for the 400 units, credits. That's very kind of you. And if I butchered your name, I'm incredibly sorry. I really tried my best. Really tried my best. Well, let's, let's go back to that. Look at that. There it is. Oh yeah, look at that. 1,189 concurrent viewers. Wow. Uh, 1,175 is the current view count. 403 is the current like count. Let's get to 500 likes. Apparently that's a magic number that YouTube likes. Who? I don't know why. I don't know why. Robert, hey, bad bushing. It's possible. It's entirely possible. But I don't, oh shoot, sorry. <laughs>
Could be. Oh, got to stop the print. Shoot, I wasn't, I was paying attention to other stuff. Looks like it came detached. Clunk. Okay, come back. Oh, it leaves the motors energized. Okay. I guess I need to lower the Z just a little bit. And clean the bed. I'll clean the bed. Why does it do that? Print aborted. Okay. So I aborted the print, but it leaves the motors energized. So I can't bring it forward. So let's... Um, There we go, disable steppers, okay. Oh yeah. Okay, well, you know what it looks like? Here, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna kick off Well, bed leveling on. Okay, level the bed. Okay, while it's going through this process, I'm gonna go get the isopropyl alcohol. Oh wait, I forgot. Sorry. Oh wait. Oh, loyal, don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reprint that bolt and nut. <laughs> You're not paying for that one for sure. Okay, it leveled the bed, so, just in case. Oh, clean it with some isopropyl alcohol. Cool. Try that print again. Bolt and nut. Bolt and nut. Okay, and then I, th well, there should be some way. I think there's, there's gonna be a way to do, uh, well, here, it's just, there we go. There's gonna be some way, some way to do the, the fine tuning of the Z, because it's using an auto probe, so we'll get that going. See what happens. Builder's Mark for L, Moses reprinted nut bolt. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh no. Okay. The, the star, the star, see if this is, the star is blue. I don't want a blue star. There we go. No blue star. So here's the goal then. I've, uh, I've cleaned it off. We got to get Loyal, his bolt, and his nut. This should be the successful one. It would be neat, though, if it had that, that sort of um, leveling test that the, the Prusa machines have. I think that's kind of handy. Or maybe the Chuck leveling test. I know Chuck Hellebuck loves to talk about his leveling test. Rightly so, because it's incredible. Uh, it does only heat the bed to 50C. 50C with the bed should hold PLA. I mean, 60C is better, but you know. Uh, Jetman, hot and fan is working. It's a Noctua, so it's quiet, see? Quiet. Okay, tune. I've got a probe Z offset. Oh, it's going through to, okay. Oh, there we go. So I can, there we go. So I can change the Z offset. So it looks like we'll have to make the print go and then adjust it. So I've got,
Am I going the right way? No. Okay, I'm at minus 0 0.625. That's looking pretty decent. Here, let me go back to here. Let me zoom you in. You deserve to see. Boom. Hope it saves it. It's looking darn decent. Trail features, painter's tape and glue stick and hairspray never lose a print again. <laughs> oh wait, crap. <laughs> Was I not going the right way? Neat. Okay. <laughs> I haven't had all my energy drink, so that's why. Okay. Don't worry, loyal. You're not. You're not getting that one either. Oh yeah. See, I can't even look at. Look at here. Wait. I can see through that. Oh, but only when I pulled it off the bed could I see through that. <sighs> Let's do it again. On a mission. <laughs> Brian Vines, that nozzle is an $11 Uber ride from the bed. F. Why is everybody F? Why is everybody F? It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Listen. Oh, look at this. That's um, it's got some holes in it. Here, wait. Let's go here, and then. Ooh. So these are the the hex keys here. Look at that. There's a there's a hole in the holder. That's fun. I don't know what that's for. GRHM home, two dollars, Bolton not fun for loyal Moses. <laughs> uh, protoscope, what's the best possible way to put uh, PEI on the CR6SE? And um, honestly, I don't know the answer to that. Most likely, uh, it's it's glass, so you could it's and it's got that covering on side, you flip it over and you put the PEI on that side. That's what I'm thinking. JS3D, third time's a charm, $5. I shouldn't need glow stick, right? Okay, the, the skirt is stuck. The skirt is stuck down. I think we're cooking with gas.
I'm going to need a flashlight. So I can see if it's doing it right. I mean, it looks good. Bolt nut fund, $5. Builder's mark. Nice. Still too far. Is it really? Are you sure? Angus, I trust you. I don't know, man, that's looking pretty good. It's, it's looking better. It's looking better. I wish it had an LED. That would be cool, because then you could see stuff. Oh, see, that's better. Feels better. Okay. I know, Loyal Moses, $5. I know you really need that. Skirt is, is skirt lifting? Oh, it's like one side is off and one is not. Jeez. I hate this. Okay. Change it again. <laughs> I, I am, I am going to get this done. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Yeah, F, F, F in the chats, please. Uh, Kevin Zoo, what is that? Might need to calibrate it manually? Is that what that said? It scrolled off. Couldn't see it. Uh, it's warming up right now. Uh, I still got that creak. It's build tack material, so it shouldn't require glue stick. And uh, I, I'm gonna up it to 60C. Whoa, geez. Okay, it's doing its part. It's going around the bed, making sure it's all level and stuff. Paul McDonald, $5. Dual Z would fix this, would it? Manual leveling. Leveling. What do you? This, this is ABL all the way. It's still too high, isn't it? Okay, that's good. That's good. That is legit good. That is, that is, like, that is good. That is good. 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 <laughs> uh, no, no, no. There, there's no adjustment nuts. The, the, those nuts are just holding, so... They have a, a, a bed system here, and these hold these spacers in, which then attach to here. These are not manual adjustment nuts. If they are, something is wrong. Ramon Rodriguez, $5.99. Three hours late. It hasn't been three hours, has it? It's only been an hour, Ramon. An hour. David Olson, buck ninety nine for Loyal's uh, Bolton Nut Fund. Listen, minus 0.83... Five. 
was amazing. Here, wait, I got a light on my phone. Can't. It's looking super better. Super better. Obviously, everything I do, you're going to have to take with a grain of salt because we're doing it live. You know, if I was at home, I would be, I'd have Thundercats on the TV or something, and I'd be sipping a rum and Coke, and I would be doing this slower and more methodical and, you know, while checking Twitter. So, so I think what's going on here is quite okay. Oh, it's so much better. Like, I'm counting it as better. I'm counting it as better. <laughs> Tetra Light Productions, finger hovering over the F key. I don't think you're gonna need it because we're getting on to layer two. Layer two. Take that. I got a good feeling about this. Who said that? That's from a movie, right? It's got to be from a movie. There I am. Look at that. I got a good feeling about this. I do. I dig that head design. I'm not going to lie. This, I like it. I like that. Sort of smarter. Ho! Thunder. Thunder. Thunder, Thundercats, oh. Did you ever, there was a, a rogue video, it's on YouTube somewhere, it's like, it's like Thundercats uncensored. It was like the voice actors for Thundercats said some adult words and then there were animations put behind them and it was kind of funny. I just remember the word Samoflange. <laughs> Samoflange. Who did? Wait, was there? Let's see. That is the Bolton Nut Fund. Oh, Elite Machine Works, twenty-seven ninety-nine. Just wanted to say thanks for the awesome content and shout out to Joe from Project Red. If anybody from Waxen is watching, it's probably a good idea to include some fine steel wool in the box to buff the PEI for adhesion. Mark Rhodes, five dollar reduce. Make sure you get a big bag of something on the way home. Oh, you you know that's not a. The problem is so. Uh, after a stream, when Sean was here, we would go grab a big bag of Dick's because uh, Dick's is a burger chain here. Stop laughing. Dick's is a burger chain here in the Seattle area. And they make wonderful late night eats. And Mark, when he was here from Australia, uh, he, we took him there and he, he enjoyed it. It's one where you walk up and get your food and walk away. Uh, typically after a stream, we'll go get a big bag of Dick's and it's a deluxe and fries, strawberry shake. It's wonderful. But my wife, Mickey, made salmon and baked potatoes for dinner tonight. And I am full. So maybe, maybe no, maybe no dicks tonight. Maybe. Uh, sort of smarter. Does it have a filament runout sensor? It does. That is this thing right here. Oh, here, I'm going to some stuff into that extrusion. Yeah. Look at that. Bam. Okay, we're, we're cooking with gas. We're going somewhere special. Okay, we kicked in that fan. I uh, just, I'm just gonna bump that, that temperature to, on the bed. On the bed, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to 60. I just like it a lot, and I, I'm just I'm gonna go that way. All right, bed's at 60 now. What up? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. If you're a mod in the channel, could you guys approve some messages? <laughs> I'm kind of sorry, a little bit. I'm kind of sorry. I'm kind of really sorry. <sighs> I'm not sorry. I'm kind of sorry.
I like, I like this machine now, where it's going. This has been a fun unboxing. I like, uh, <laughs> like I imagine, I imagine it's, it's kind of, it's like a Prusa bear, right? With the extrusions making up the frame. Kind of like that, but with a, with a really neat head on it. I like these changes to the spool holder because it holds the filament runout sensor. Holds it really well. I like the wire management. I like where things are routed. I know that we've showcased some things that might not be the best possible version of themselves, but we've also seen a lot of really cool stuff. I'm just, I'm just talking up this machine a little bit. I know it can hear me and I want it to complete the bolt and nut for loyal so I can send it to him. Is it, is it, is it? Oh, it's still going. Aces. I like this. Oh man. It is 6% uh, of the way through this print. 6%. So, and honestly, that little, that, uh, let's see if you can hear it. That little creak that I can hear while it's printing, if that creak wasn't there, which I'm sure shouldn't be there, but if that creak wasn't there, this would be a quiet machine. The movements are quiet and the fans sound like fans. Also, this is my very first time printing with a slice engineering hot end. I've never printed with a mosquito. I've always wanted to try it, but this has a copperhead in it. And so if you have a copperhead, I'd love to hear some of the advantages that you know about, or I don't know, what, what makes a copperhead cool in your eyes? Or is a copperhead cool? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Dave Randolph, I like the filament sensor up there because while doing retraction, you won't get messed up filament on the spool. That's actually, uh, that's, that's valid right there. Oh no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm so sad. F, F, F in the chat, please. F. Okay, it was looking good. Focus. It was looking good. Oh, see, that was stuck down. That looks good. That's, it's the right height. It's just not holding on okay it's just not holding on so then so then this is uh this is very specifically just a, a bed thing, right? <laughs> I feel so dirty. <laughs> I feel so dirty. Okay. Okay, let's do this. 
Let's do this. Okay. I am going to get that bolt and nut printing. Uh, I think that focus, focus. There we go. I'm going to get that bolt and nut printing, whether it kills me or not. What, what, what's going on? Oh boy, chat is going. It will print out of the box. I guess you didn't say it would complete out of the box. I mean, that's funny. Um, it's, it's completely and totally, so it's printing right. I need some Vision Miner nanopolymer adhesive on that thing. That's what we need. That's good stuff. Or some uh, magic goo. That's good stuff too. Um, it's heating, whatever. Uh, at this point though, I getting the heights dialed in, totally me, right? That was totally my fault. If we can assign blame anywhere, I don't think there's, there's blame to be had here. But if we could assign blame, that'd be on me. Trevor Ward, $2, double check the x-axis is parallel to the frame or bed. That's a great idea. I didn't even think about that, but... Um, Uh, oh, no, motors are still energized. That's okay. And actually, that's a thanks for the $2 for that. That is a wonderful, wonderful idea. Let's move one millimeter. Oh, there it goes. It's a little slow, but it's moving. So I need something to be able to judge the height on either side. What about, there we go. It looks like X is not exactly parallel. Okay. Well, maybe. Oh, that was the belt, wasn't it? Okay. I don't know. What's the best way to do this? <laughs> I've got my calipers. We could just kind of judge the distance, right? Seems like a good thing to do. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, 55.95. Uh huh. Okay, it won't even go on that side. So x axis is not parallel. That's good to know. How do you. How do you get x-axis parallel when it's only attached by one side? You have to adjust the attachments here, right? Wouldn't that be how you do it? Does it matter? I don't know. I think it does. Make UBL mesh and use G29 to output it to your computer. Drop into an online mesh visualizer. Okay. I don't, I don't want to do that. Pa Dave just said paper level, paper level, the X axes. How do you level the bed? Okay.
There you can uh, you can see it do its thing. Yeah, two screws. That'd be the way to do it. Uh, but listen, if it's okay, so if if X axis isn't completely parallel, but it's doing auto bed leveling, it just means that the nozzle isn't going to be perpendicular to the bed exactly, right? It's either going to be pushing or pulling a little bit. Isn't that right? So technically, uh, technically, I it should work. It should just it should work because it's it's judging the plane based on where that is. So it'll still work. It's just not the nozzle's just not going to be perpendicular to the bed. Correct me if I'm wrong. El Moses, rest in peace, nut and bolt. The Z coupler. What? What? The Z coupler. Let's just do it. Let's go for it. Let's get that bolt and nut printed. One spicy boy. Hey, Joel, love your enthusiasm for 3D printing. Great content. Stay awesome. Also, any fun filament recommendations? Uh, go find the Jesse filament from Printed Solid. Dave's in the chat. And he can tell you about it. It's not expensive, and he's got 42 different colors of it now, which is awesome. And you'd be supporting Dave, who's my friend. Project R3 D Z coupler separated. Okay, so. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see what you're saying. That's nice too. Uh, I see what you're saying. So then. Let's uh. <laughs> okay, stepper's disabled. So, let's see if I can turn this around in a way for you to see. Okay, so this is the coupler, and you're saying it is separated. This should be compressed, is that right? Uh, adjust the eccentric nut. Okay. Well, no, I can't. I mean, this has to be pushed back in, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's wrong. Dial indicator. Uh, so if this is, this shouldn't be like that. I just want to confirm, right? Because I'm not, I'm not typically dealing with something like this. So I'm learning. <laughs> That's wrong. Okay, good. So to put this back together, then do I disconnect these right here? Okay. Just a few screws. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, okay, so the motors, have, if I, I need to decouple the X axis from uh, this, right? Push it back together, really? Okay. Oh, just like that. Okay. Nifty. Well, I'm glad that's together. Oh wait, here I got to get you back in frame for some some print loving right there. Okay. Uh, 
I'm going to move that bed up just a smidge. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's level the bed. <laughs> Thanks for coming along on this journey. I'm getting messages. Hold, please. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's people who know how to contact me telling me what to do. I appreciate all of you. <laughs> so, yes, now I'm re-leveling the bed. And then Loyal Moses will get his nut and bolt. Cool. Bed level. Honestly, honestly, it wouldn't be a stream unless I had a rocky start. <laughs> I'm going to go with that because that's the truth. <laughs> it's heating up now. Tighten the coupler. Tighten the coupler? The coupler's tight. The coupler's tight, like the, the, the grub screws that go into the motor shaft and the grub screws that go into the lead screw, those are tight. Those are tight. There's, there's, no, there's no screw holding the, the plasticky bits together. The, the, I, there's nothing to tighten it together. You guys, you guys, you guys, like legit, legit. It's a, it is a red plastic piece between the part that connects to the motor shaft and the part that connects to the lead screw. There's, there's no screws to tighten. Like it's, it's tight. Well, here, we're heating up, right? I will... You're saying to check the actual lead screw grub screws. You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. <laughs> okay, that's not the right size. <laughs> Everything super tight back there. <sighs> it's the uh, yeah it's see see sort of smarter it's the okay so it's nylon that's there's a nylon piece in there right it's the the coupler itself it's, it's got to have that squishy part in the middle Ooh, focus Okay, so then, okay, it's gonna probe the bed a few times. <laughs> this potential nut and bolt only cost me one twenty ninety nine. Don't be jealous. Thank you, loyal. Thank you for the five again. You're, there's so many milkshakes. Legit. One day we're gonna meet. I'm gonna come to your farm, your ranch. Uh, I get to see your horses. We can, we get to go, uh, target shooting and then we're going to get milkshakes. <laughs> and the extrusion looks good. I know I say that every time. Like it looks good. <laughs> I will not be defeated. I, uh, I have a reward. It's a box of milk duds and I can see it from where I'm standing. 
And you can bet I'm going to eat a few as soon as the stream's over. Oh, it looks like there was a booger on the nozzle that fell off onto the print. Ooh, 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 come on. No, it's stuck there for good. <laughs> Where's my phone? Okay, people. People are blowing me up. I'm having a hard time. I'm really sorry. Oh, did I miss something? Pablo. Uh, Pablo Saltaveri. Do the fuzzy finish on the printed parts add some rigidity to them or is it only cosmetic? That's actually a really good question. I don't, I don't know. I would imagine fuzzy would mean there's more surface area, which, right? which would mean there's, there's more material to hold itself together. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, sort of smarter. The Z-axis was probably changing with that coupler, coupler popped out. I, I would agree with you, if only because that sounds really smart and it makes sense. Well, listen, obviously, what's really great about this, yes, I get to do this on a stream and you get to experience the highs and the lows with me, which is fun. But at the same time, this is great feedback for Wuxin. This is an open source 3D printer. And so these suggestions they can take and hopefully even deliver, uh, deliver an even better product. I mean, who knows? After the stream, you know, it's, it's going to print beautifully with no problems. That's always what happens. It's just me being dumb. Uh, F-O-G-D, uh, N-O-K-55. I don't know what that money value or that money... I don't know what N-O-K is. First live chat that I'm able to join. Greetings from the time zone plus two and keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Eddie Mosier, $5. Here's your beer. You need it. You know, once, uh, once, once the world heals and we're able to gather again, I swear, everybody's getting hugs. We're going to get beers and everybody's going to get hugs. Yeah. So I wonder what this is. This, this build tech thing? Focus. Kind of a silicone sort of, I don't know. But it came with it. We shall see. Uh, Joel, hey, another Joel. Joel Heberlin, did it stop clicking? No, there's still a creek. And I don't know what that creek is, but I mean, I'm, I, I can feel it. I can feel that clicking like something's tapping or hitting something within the Y axis. It could be that there's a bearing out. Could be that it could be a bad bearing maybe. You got this. You got this. I'm feeling success. Why is everybody saying F? You stop it. Uh, Cyrus, good morning from Germany. Hey, it's go. Look at that. It's looking good. I mean, I know I've said this before, <laughs> but it's looking good. You're with me, right? I actually have a better view on the monitor right there than I do, like, looking at it because it's lit better. Okay, the fans have now kicked in. The fans are now, uh, have kicked in and it is at layer, I would guess, four. I'm guessing layer four. Check the coupler, that's a good idea. The coupler looks good. 
coupler looks good. Looks appropriate, looks proper, <laughs> as far as I know, right? I am not a coupler scientist, but to my untrained eye, it looks okay. Oh yeah, the monitor. So look at that, it's going. I mean, you see it over there, but I see it right over there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Builder's Mark, check the coupler. Check the coupler. Again, it looks good. Coupler looks good. I need another camera. I need another camera on the coupler itself. Loyal, what are the odds, man? It's, it's still going. This could be, this could be the one. This could be, this could be it. Christopher, I majored in coupler science. I'm gonna call BS, because I don't think that's a real thing. <laughs> I don't think that's, that is not a real thing. That can't be. Emily test account with the comment, this is the real account. I don't, uh, <laughs> uh, Claude, DKK, 10, dollar, 10, 10 money units, 10 money units, uh, trail features. Did you end up keeping the Canon R5? I did. The Canon R5 has been a wonderful camera for me. Yes, I know Canon is lying through their teeth when they talk about the temperature shutdowns because EOS, uh, EOS HD has proven that they are lying. But for all the stuff that I do, I do photos and 4K 30. Sometimes I do 4K 120. And I know that firmware 1.1 is supposed to take temperatures a little bit more into consideration and not rely on the timers that don't exist. But I'm in Seattle and it was, um, it was 60 degrees today, 60 degrees Fahrenheit and raining. Oops. So temperatures are fine. I'm, uh, honestly, the, we, have a, we have an episode coming out this Sunday where we shot with my R5 and Sean's R6. And he used DaVinci Resolve to pull details out of that footage that we did not think was possible. So I'm getting a lot of really, really great footage from that camera. I love it a lot. It's enabled me to shoot more. And uh, yes, I'm there for it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, uh, Ajay Vokuda, you are spamming. Oh my goodness. And there are people in the channel that can, uh, that don't like that. So don't do that. Don't spam. You guys don't spam. Eat spam, don't spam. That reminds me, spam musubi, I think is what it is, right? It's spam and rice and wrapped in a seaweed. I love that. I love it a lot. It's really good. Uh, GBWSF, this is with glue stick. Yes, this is with glue stick. Uh, typically, the, so it, that is a build tech flexible sheet with, I would imagine build tech PEI on there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got, it's got etchings into the, um, into the metal. And then there's a, a sheet of PEI, I think covering it. It's not captain tape. I've never had to use glue stick before. Like um, uh, Elite Machine Works said, including a tiny little scouring pad to kind of rough up the PEI goes a long way. And so that might be something to consider including in future packages. We are still going. We are still going. We are still going. Eddie Moser, I need to try and spam Musubi. I agree. I think you do. I think you do. Okay, here's another question, and I'd love to hear comments because uh, I'm very curious. What is your go-to snack when watching a movie? Personally, I like Milk Duds a lot. 
I think, I think they're fantastic. When we actually could go to the theater, I got Milk Duds. Uh, I like Milk Duds <clears throat> and a Captain and Coke. <laughs> what, is, what is your snack of choice when watching a movie? I'm very curious about that. Milk Duds, though. I mean, if you say Milk Duds, I, I will agree with you. Milk Duds. Uh, Kren6977, have you ever showed the full process of what goes into making a 3DPN video? No. No, I haven't. That's actually, uh, that's a fun process because typically, uh, typically we've got me with an idea or others with an idea, but I'm shooting footage here or in the garage. Uh, I get all of the footage compiled and then we'll do a file sharing service to get the footage to Sean. Right now, I believe it's a corporate Google Drive. We've tried others though before, like Dropbox and whatnot. And then Sean puts out an edit. We take a look at it. Uh, David's my producer down in LA. He'll look at the edit and make some notes. I'll look at the edit up here. I'll make some notes. Uh, I will also, if I have ideas on the footage, I'll give Sean some direction as to the edit but he's been working with me long enough where if I shoot something, there's a good chance he knows what I'm getting at. And so I haven't had to do that as much at all. Uh, but then once the rough cut is done, we, we add in music and um, any of the notes, we get the fine cut done. And once the fine cut is approved, then we set that ready to publish and I get that up to YouTube and I get that to float plane. And then I will create thumbnails and I will create a number of them and uh, between David and Sean and myself, I'll send them, we'll send them back and forth and we'll try to choose which ones we like or if there's ones we don't like and why and, and we can change them. Or sometimes I just have a really good idea and I'm like, I'm going to do this one. And they say, okay. And then, uh, let's see. And then the thumbnail's updated, the metadata, the title, everything's updated. Everything's, uh, I upload to Floatplane, I upload to YouTube uh, and then we set it to go live. That's kind of the process. And then for my after the five videos, uh, it used to be I would record those directly after the camera stopped rolling. That kind of got kind of boring, honestly. And so I wait a little bit or sometimes a long bit and I, and I call it a director's cut. So what I do now is I will watch the video back, but with context and with some history. So I can, I can showcase, oh, we did it this way or here's what happened afterwards or oh my gosh, the comments on this were fantastic or what was I thinking here? Here's some footage we didn't use. Here's some images you didn't see. This is really cool. See on the next one. So that's been fun. And I try to get that. I try to get that going. In fact, uh, for all my fivers, I owe an after the five for the, uh, the Fotis Mint birthday safety Joel video. Three D printing people, glue stick fixes everything. Car guys, nah, -uh, that's duct tape. <laughs> Matthew Lang, thanks for stopping by. Uh, oh, oh, that's right. We talked about snacks. Uh, solid Green Day. Not sure about the fuzzy skin. I think it's knurling. I think that's the knurling. So probably not. Probably not. Uh, Derek Williams, float plane. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I talk it. Joel tried Kinder, Kinder Bueno. They are a glorious treat. I'm not, what is a Kinder Bueno? I'm not sure I know what that is. Aaron York. Aaron York. Why would you, why would you jinx this? Why would you say that? Aaron, retract that. Take that away. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> uh, NM Desert Tracer, speed up 200%. No. No. One spicy boy, printedsolid.com. That's the filament link. FJ Prince likes popcorn. That's good. This is a nut knob. Alex, Alex Swavely is the one that won the 3D printer that I gave away. He was local, so he picked it up. Uh, and it was a GTEC A30. GTEC A30. Kinder Bueno. What is this Kinder? Someone, someone, someone send me a link on Twitter to Kinder Bueno. So when we get done with the stream, I can check it out. Kinder 
Okay, I'm gonna be honest, uh, the Nerling is looking pretty good on those. Yeah? <laughs> Loyal with five. Wait, my nut and bolt is knurled? It's worth way more. I don't know if that's possible. Oh my goodness. Are you guys okay if I go grab the milk duds real quick? Like, I'm a little hungry in the tummy, and I could use a couple milk duds. Is that okay? Let me... <laughs> I don't want to eat on stream, but it's candy, so I can... It's not like I'm chewing on a sandwich. It's candy. Kinder Bueno isn't legal to sell in the U.S. What? Xander Harris, we're printing a nut and bolt for Loyal. Practical printing, knurled nuts are the best. I need to get some bottled water up here, man. Water sounds good. I mean, energy drinks are wonderful, but water. Oh, look at it. You can see the cup right there. It's exciting. That's, what the heck? There you go. Oh, you know what? If I... There we go. If I get that the paper towels behind there, it's going to reflect some light and really let you see those prints. Okay. Yes. Oh, you guys are awesome. Okay, I see yeses. Hold on. <laughs> milk duds, milk duds, do, 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 milk duds, milk duds, milk duds. Oh, you know, there's something I want to show you. And it's incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. Boggles my mind. It boggles my mind. Uh, this is Jesse PLA. Oh, oh my goodness. Jesse, neon pink PLA. I want you, look. Look at that. This is, this is vacuum sealed and look at the indent. Look, that is, that is some fine, fine vacuum sealing right there. That is a, a tremendous vacuum seal. Whew. So the, the question is, do you want me to pop it? Would you like me to pop that vacuum seal? I need to know. Xander Harris, we're printing a nut and a bolt for Loyal. Builder's Mark, just don't talk with your mouth full. I would never. I would never. Oh, I love milk duds. <laughs> I know it's not the highest quality chocolate or caramel, but legit, just like Taco Bell, you don't go to Taco Bell for the quality. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't pop, don't pop, yes, pop. It's too perfect. Yes, pop it. Oh my goodness, from FOGD. <laughs> Dave Randolph, it's over $5,000 worth of specialized hardware to get this vacuum seal. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I feel bad. Okay. Here, you know what I'm going to do? Hold on. I got an idea. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Wait, someone make sure they're screen recording this or mark the time because this is epic. I need to know this for later. Oh, that was fantastic. Boy, it's still indented too. That was amazing. 
<laughs> GBWSF. What is the time to complete for this print? We are at 19% right now, 19%. It doesn't give me a time left. It gives me an elapsed time, but not a time left. Dave, I love the seals on your filament, man. Just amazing. Oh yeah, so uh, Dave is talking about the filament being stinky. It's interesting that printed solid enclosure that we put together on a Twitch stream. I think it was. Yeah, we filmed the video with that. And the idea was, am I susceptible to ABS? And we got to showcase some different methods of, of filtering the air. The next day, massive headache, massive headache. ABS and I don't get along, especially the ABS that Dave sent. Dave. So anyway, anyway, I, I am a very, very firm believer in ABS, ASA, any other stinky material, just vent it outside, get an enclosure. Don't sniff that stuff because it will make your life worse. I put myself on the line for you. And that's, that's what I came up with. That's what I came up with. Practical printing. Anyone else need to pee after that? Really? <laughs> uh, Tony Talia Ferrero, Talia Ferro? Uh, I don't know. We're at 20%. We're at 20%. But I mean, it's going strong, right? That's some good print quality going right there. <laughs> Loyal Moses, $25. I need some suggestions on what to do with my incredible, and, and all caps, incredible, nut and bolt. And honestly, I mean, uh, leave some suggestions for him in the chat because he needs some ideas. But honestly, like, display them proudly. They're going to look cool. Maybe, maybe design and 3D print a little mount to put them on your wall. Just right there. Maybe. I don't know. That's my idea. What are your, what's your idea? Here we go. I'll go back to the print. Sorry. I, I, I take you away from the print. I apologize. Uh, instance art, Aussie five. Hey, Joel, just wanted to thank you for reigniting my love for 3d printing. Can't wait to sculpt and print some characters and creatures. That is amazing to hear. And I wish you the best of luck. Evan Newman, word, word of advice, never inhale burning acrylic. <sighs> burning acrylic, acrylic. Oh, that sounds terrible. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Eddie Mosier, Xander Harris, you are assuming it finishes and El Moses and I agree that is unlikely. Oh, ye of little faith. Ye of little faith. Solid Green Day, your channel should be a nut and bolt channel. Well, I mean, obviously any printers that I test going forward have to be nuts and bolts, I would imagine. First prints at least, nuts and bolts. That seems like the right way to do it. The knurling on those is fantastic. I kind of want to know what they're supposed to look like. So I've got, here, let me get something. I got the G code on my laptop here. And we can take a look and I can drop the G code into a visualizer and we can uh, we can see. Oh, yeah. Oops.
Here we go, dropping it in. Okay, here we go. Wow, those are, those are lovely. So here, let's see if I can't. <laughs> there we go. That's what they are supposed to look like. That's it. That's those right there. So it looks like it knurls up a bit and then it does the threading, which should go pretty fast. I would imagine we are not even halfway up the knurling. Not even halfway. Awesome. Maybe I should have done the benchy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna catch up on these comments. My goodness. Maker's Muse, catting neurals is not fun. That's, oh, I don't know if it's gotten any better. The very first thing I ever designed was a GoPro rig in OpenSCAD. And I used OpenSCAD to create the neurals for the handles. And I remember the, the handle here. Let's see, let's bring you over here. So they, the handles were about that tall and about, um, about that big around and they had this knurling pattern that I created and OpenSCAD to render out the knurling took 11 hours. <laughs> 11 hours. It was, it was bonkers, 11 hours. Anyway, has it gotten any better? I don't know. Loyal with $5. Oh yeah, those are beautiful. Way worth it. Joel, Larry the Fly Guy. Puyallup from Larry Cluster. Oh, P-Town represent. It's my hometown. Love it. Oh wow, I got messages from people from all the stuff that I was doing earlier. <laughs> oh no, let's see. <laughs> well, it looks like it's going. I'd love to, see, I'm, I have to see this through. I mean, I, I can, it's only, it's only 11 o'clock. Should we keep streaming? I mean, do you want to keep seeing this? I can answer questions. We can still chat about fun stuff. This has to complete because this is Loyal's nut and Loyal's bolts and has to, right? So do you want to see it complete? I can always tweet you a picture later. We've been, uh, oh, excuse me. We've been going for two hours, two hours. What do you think? What would you like to do? Uh, not G10, use this for every new test print. Get a poster board and screw them into it. And into it was the printer, with, oh, with the printer title below. That's actually, that's actually not a bad idea. Okay, yes, keep streaming, keep streaming. Yes, yes. Spencer, it's 2.04 a.m., I'm sorry. Phil Nolan, last year I did a six second animation. It took a week to render. <laughs> El Moses, here's $25. Start it over in green and blue. No, I'm not gonna start it over. Dude, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not gonna start it over. I mean, I'll just print you two. I will just print you two. 
Hi, Joel, for a cheap bed level, could you check out this thing? Would like to see someone check it out. It's been very accurate for a switch and servo. Okay. Uh, and okay, five, 55 units. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Still not donated enough for a Norwegian beer. What does it cost over there? Uh, you can get beers for, you know, like five bucks, I think. RC Maniac, did you send out the surprise printer giveaway? Curious if we know what the printer is. Yeah, yes, I did. Alex Swavely won. Alex is local. We met up at my local coffee shop, and I handed him the printer. Oh, sorry. The printer was a GTEC A30. GTEC A30. You know what? If we're streaming, if we're legit, like, this is looking good. We're still streaming. Should I give another printer away? I mean, I've, I've got, I got more. I got more. I could, um, I don't know. What do you think? Should we? We could. God, it would be, um, it could be a thing. I'd have to rummage and go get it. It could be a surprise again, right? Might be kind of fun. Uh, yeah, let me know. Okay, should we do a printer giveaway? I can, I can load up the Gleam interface and do a new little uh, giveaway. Or um, I could do a... Well, you know what I could do? I could do a really quick Google Sheet or Google Form that takes email address and, um, and YouTube screen name, right? Maybe we could do that and then I could, I could uh, export the list to a spreadsheet and then just pick a random row, I think. Makers Muse, give away the craft bot. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, okay, dude, you know my story with that thing. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Builder's Mark, $5 for a secondary nut bolt fund for loyal. That's amazing. Well, he wants one in multiple colors. Watch, I'm just going to set him a box of plastic hardware. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Google Form is easiest. Okay, everybody Everybody seems to want a, uh, a giveaway. Okay, I'll tell you what, let me put it over here. Let me put it right here. Let me go make sure the one I have in mind is ready. Yeah. Okay, but here, I need you. So in the chats, do you need to be present to win? With the idea being, hey, Scott Oshiro, new member, thank you. Thank you for being a member. So I need to know, do I, um, do you have to be present to win? This is a community driven giveaway. Do you have to be present to win or as long as you've entered, you're good to go? That's what I wanna know. The goal would be to give it away in 51 minutes. Uh, and yes, I will ship whatever printer is offered. It'll be a surprise, uh, but uh, I will ship it anywhere in the world. I will, I will pay the shipping to anywhere in the world. That's my goal. Because I don't want you to have to miss out because you might live somewhere where shipping is expensive. I will do my best to get it to you via most likely UPS. Uh, the people at my UPS store are really friendly, so most likely it would be them. But here, I'll tell you what, I, I need you guys to, to talk. I need you guys to figure out if you must be present to win, or if once you put in your name and email, you're good to go. We'll do the drawing in 50 minutes, five zero minutes, 50 minutes. I'm gonna go find a printer really quick to give away that's still in the box, and then, uh, 
When I come back, we'll find out what you decided. And then I will get going on the Google form. So give me, give me a minute or two. I'll put you back on the printer because uh, it's wonderful. And it's going. Uh, say hi to Maker's Muse if you get the chance. Because Angus, I love that dude, like family. Okay, I'll be right back. I mean, you'll, you'll still be able to hear me. My microphone, it reaches. It reaches into the other room. I found it. I found it. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, this is amazing. Should I? What is this? Okay, that'll be for next time. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. I've got a machine. It is, it is ready. It is ready. Hello, everyone. And I will... There we go. That's a good one. There is a uh, poll I just typed into the chat. I need you guys to click on that and tell me what you think. Lonnie K, thanks for being a member. Mr. Griffin, 1975, thank you for being a, a member. So right now we are at, uh, yes, being Ooh. Okay, votes are going up. We are uh, we are at over seventy five percent thinking you must be present to win. So if you click that, here I'll post the link one more time, just in case it scrolled off. So there we go. So that's what we're gonna do. Wow, lots of people saying you must be present to win. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. Okay, and the votes are going up. We're over 200, we're at 260 votes right now. And it is, it is by a large margin must be present to win. I mean, obviously we're doing the drawing in another 45 minutes. So it's not like it's five hours later, it's 45 minutes later, but still, but still. Hey, James, James, be a new member. Thank you. Wow, welcome. Well, who, who put out the memo for people to join as members? That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Be sure you go to the, um, the community page, I think it is. Because once, once you're a member on the community page, you have access to all of the After the Five videos. And there's, uh, there's a lot of them. Dozens, dozens, maybe a hundred, maybe more. But they're all there. So you can go through and you've got, you've got days of content ahead of you. So that little membership there got you access to a lot of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, dissident. Canadian 1399, you out of your mind? You really have to stop doing these at midnight, 2 a.m. That is true. That is true. 329 votes. 329 votes. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. 332 votes. 70. Okay, must be, it looks like must be present to win. 
is uh, is definitely here. Let's see, that's doing fine. Must be present to win is winning by a large majority. So here's what I'm going to do. You have to be present to win. We'll do the drawing at uh, midnight my time. That's in roughly 45 minutes. I'm going to get the Google Sheet all prepared. And uh, I'm only going to require an email address if, for if you win, I can contact you. It won't be used for any other reason, but you must enter through the Google form that I'm going to post the link to here in a couple minutes. But according to the poll, hey, Ryan Laffin, thanks for being a new member. Wow, lots of votes. Okay, this is this is what y'all want. So this is, jeez, uh, Bekar, new member too. Thanks for being a new member. This is amazing. Be sure and check the community page because that's going to show you all those after the five videos. Uh, Karen Clark, thousand watching. Why not all voting? You know what? It's uh, just just like in any democratic election. Voting is a right and a privilege, but not everybody chooses to exercise their right. So the, the, the best that we can do is continue to encourage our fellow viewers to make their voice heard and to vote in our poll. It could be that maybe yes and no wasn't the option they had in mind. Maybe they needed a third party vote. Maybe they were a third party voter. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. Wow, Zappy, new member. Stephen Cook, new member as well. That is, that is wonderful. Well, and here's the here's the thing to remember: if if only 340 people answered the poll, most likely only 340 people are going to enter for the 3D printer. It seems. RC Maniac, good question. How do you enforce being present? You announce the winner and they have to respond within a period of time. That is a really, really... Yes. I'm going to announce the winner and I will announce... I will... Uh, I will announce the winner and I will need to see that screen name tag me in the chat. I think that's, that's the easiest way to do it. I think, and they will have two minutes. That'll take into account um, the, the buffering, right? Because the buffering is roughly 10 to 20 seconds. So if I say two minutes, that should be enough time. That should be. William asked for a new member and Gridman with three ends. New member. Welcome, welcome. Be sure to go to the community tab. Hype. Uh, can, uh, KF Nadim U Y T so YouTube, I would imagine I have school in 20 minutes, honestly. Uh, good luck. I hope you have a good school day. <laughs> uh, Apple teeny, I bake. What if I don't see the reply? I will do my best. I will do my best. Karen Muller, new member. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Uh, Zen Maniacs. Uh, uh, Zenic, I see you tagging me. Not G10, it me the winner. No, but I see you. So that's fantastic. Okay, now uh, I'll go to the, the Google Forms, right? Forms.google. Forms.google. And I will... Uh, Go over here. Untitled form, sure, how about three? Mystery, 3D printer giveaway. Multiple choice, no, I need uh, configure. See limit to okay. So yes, do you need a valid email address? That's fantastic. 
what is your YouTube screen name in the chat? Short answer, perfect, and that is required. Okay, so I've got email address and I've got that and I should, uh, I should make it look pretty. Oh, wait, 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 how about? <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay. Perfect, perfect, okay. So I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Okay, I've got the form ready. How to enter. <laughs> Stop tagging y'all weird. It's true. It's true. Y'all weird. But whatever. Okay, 27 entries. Forty-eight entries. You guys are going nuts. This is great. Holy crap, that thing is a thousand bucks. Can't afford it from Mark Aid. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, it is a thousand dollars. It is a thousand dollars. It's nine forty nine US, and if you use the coupon three D printing nerd, the coupon code, uh, it'll it'll take fifty bucks off, and you get free USA shipping. So you're looking at eight ninety nine, eight ninety nine plus uh, free shipping if you're in the US. The Nerling's looking pretty good. You guys can see it. I mean, that's looking really good. And there are 203 entries, 203 entries. That's not too bad. Uh, head 420 to enter for a 3D printer. Whew. Okay, there we go. Uh, hype, K, N, and KF, okay. Somehow, so K, shoot, I can't, you scrolled. I'll find you, I'll find you because you said something interesting. Someone said they're on mobile and so they're unable to tag if they win. And I don't want to leave those people out. And so there's got to be a way. I, I should be, if they, honestly, if I say this is the winner, I can pay attention to the chat and they should be able to respond somehow. Tagging me, getting a, getting, uh, getting a hold of me somehow in the chat. That, sh that should be the way to do it. That's the only way I can verify that, that they're still present to win. Holy cow, we're at 652 likes. Jeez. There we go. Hype KFN Adim YT. I'm on mobile. I can't tag. I, under, uh, I understand that, and hopefully my reasoning was there. There's only so much I can do. There's got to be a way for you to, if, you, if I announce your name, that you're able to get my attention in the chat. I need to see. I was thinking tagging just because that's the easiest way, but um, it, as long as you type something and I see your name, scroll in the chat after I've announced it as a winner, you win. That's and then and then the game's over. So that's how we'll do that. That's how we'll do that. Oh, 
Oh. Armando A. Bless you. Thank you. I sneezed. <laughs> 773 likes. Jeez. Phil Nolan, 899. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, JT, 759. 781 now. Likes are going up. Think we can hit 1,000? I don't know. Someone told me that the likes on streams directly correlate to YouTube's promotion of the stream. So I don't, I don't know if that's true. I keep getting in your view. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's true, but every time we've had a stream with a bunch of likes on it, it got more views. So, ooh, I'm missing something. Builder's Mark. Joel, if you will include a roll of filament to go along with the printer, please. Here is money to cover the cost of that filament. <laughs> oh, no. Here it goes. Uh, I tell you what. I'll do my best. Uh, I will do my best. We'll get a... Whoever wins, I will, I will with that money, purchase a roll of Jesse PLA. And Dave, I will pay for the shipping to whoever wins it, okay? That's fair. Now, no more. Come on. Come on. We'll keep it a roll of filament and a mystery printer, and that's it. <laughs> I'm looking at the printer right there. It's in a box. It is a kit. You will have to put it together. But it's free. That's the best part. Jim Sellers, $5 filament fund for the winner. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Uh, Tristan... Uh, Rajli, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, print time. We are at 43%. I don't know if that percentage that's, well, here, I'll tell you what, let me, let me lower that just a little bit. So percent, 44%. I don't know if that's the percentage through the G code text file, or if that's the percent, uh, in the height of the model. I don't know. It's going to be one of those things, right? If you know, let me know. Here, I'll put you back up now because I know you want to watch that print, print. Print, print. There you go. That's not bad at all. Oh, I'm missing some stuff. I'm sorry. Paul McDonald with $2. Gentleman and a scholar. I don't know if that's fair. I'm just someone that is excited about this stuff and I want to get others involved. Andrew Smith with five. You could ask chat to be quiet after the winner is announced. Also, is it a surprise or are you going to tell us which printer? Andrew Smith with five dollars. Thank you for that. Uh, that is a really, really good question. So I will leave it up to the winner. I'll leave it up to the winner. If they want me to, to show off to the world what they've won, then I will. Otherwise, it'll be a mystery, and they will find out when they get it. I think that's fair. Uh, Arun, when will the winner be announced? That's actually a really good question. So I'm going to do the drawing at midnight my time. That's in 31 minutes from now, and you, uh, you have to be present to win. And I will announce at that time. And then uh, hopefully people will respond. So I will stop taking entries at that time. And then I will uh, eventually, I will announce it. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Gilmore, where do I enter? Uh, oh, shoot. Let's see. There you go. There's the entry. I wish I had Nightbot going so I could post that link all the time. Incendium 87, a new member. Thank you so much for being a member. Coil Candy, I like it. Coil Candy said, can't find the form right after I posted it. <laughs> so it's right there. It's right there. How to enter. It's there. There we go. Here is how you enter. Right there. <laughs> I know. Uh, what happened? Oh, there we go. Okay. God, the stuff is just just in 3D. I really like the Raise 3D E2. I recommend it based on your review to my school. Uh, just in 3D. Uh, you know, 
Loyal Moses in the chat also bought an E2 off my recommendation. He loves it as well, and he's actually using it in a production facility. He is making stuff and selling it with it. Uh, Dev, Joel, do I need to do anything other than be present and like this? Uh, no. I mean, like this. That would be fantastic. That's not required. I just need you to enter on that form that I posted. It's, uh, it's your email, and it is your screen name that you use in the chat. So I will go off of that and announce a screen name, and then you've got two minutes to get my attention in the chat to prove that you're still there. If I see a bunch of numbers drop and then a bunch of numbers come back in 30 minutes, I'm gonna know you weren't there. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, uh, sort of smarter, could cell users respond on Twitter? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's actually, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the red game, put the link in the description. Okay. Link going in description. Hold please. To enter, the link is in the description. There we go, link is in the description. <laughs> Mystery printer. ASM. There we go. Uh, tank proof too. Can we not just respond over email? Well, <laughs> you know, that's actually a really interesting point because Sure. Okay, do I allow this? So I'm going to have the email address that you entered with. And, uh, well, no, because then you don't have my email. Let's just keep it with, with the chat. That was the original intention, must be present to win. I think that's going to be the easiest way going forward. I think, right? Hobby Hands, $2. Would you still recommend Fusion 360 now for Hobby? I haven't kept up with the Fusion 360 news. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't use it as extensively as others do, and so it may not affect uh, the stuff that I do, but, but um, I would... Uh, Angus, Makers Muse and Tom Sandlatterer both put out fantastic videos talking about the Fusion 360 news and what's kind of happening with it. So I would highly recommend checking out both of those creators. They have some amazing content talking about it. That would be what I do. <laughs> Trail features $5. What if I can't respond due to localized disruption in space time? Legit, if I announce you've, you've won a 3D printer, but a TARDIS drops in and the doctor extends his or her hand and says, come with me, like, I'm pretty sure you're gonna choose that over a printer. Where is that person? I saw them getting into a TARDIS. Oh, I, I understand, I get that, I get that. Plus at that point, you're in a time machine. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to go to the fridge, get something to sip on. Be right back. I mean, you can still hear me. I'm still saying things. There we go. Unsweetened iced tea. Let's do it. Uh, Charles uh, Fashing, Czar 35. I don't know what 35, what Czar is, but Czar 35. Filament fun for the winner. Thanks for that. <laughs> Hobby Hands, $2. Design Spark Mechanical. It is free. I've, I've never heard of it. I don't know. I don't know. 24 minutes to go. That's true. 24 minutes to go. Uh, Colise, so sleepy. Everybody, everybody, Colise is so sleepy. Tell them something super excited to wake them up. Uh, tell them a funny joke. Maybe, maybe a funny joke. Something to, something to get the neurons firing. Eric Lofgren with five. Socially distanced high five from Eastern Washington. <clears throat> high five. There it is. There it is. High five. I like it. Look at that knurling. I'm gonna have to download this and speed it up. Uh, loyal with five, thanks for the great time, Joel. All of us appreciate the good time. Aw, thanks, Loyal. Dude, you're a good bro, man. Maker's Muse, Popeye just came, he says hi. Uh, Popeye is that burb that Angus designed the incredible puzzle for that uh, honestly exploded all over the internet because my goodness, because awesome stuff like that should. Nova Leary, wish me luck on my exams. I'm currently trying to cram for this Calc 3 exam. Oh my goodness. Good luck on your exam. Fingers crossed that you absolutely crush it. Just just a math murderer. Cheers. Ah, brisk. <laughs> Zappy. Prince looking great, 3D printing nerd. Thanks, Zappy. I would like to uh, agree with you there. You've got a, a front row seat for this. The knurling is uh, quite fantastic. And it's sticking to the bed, which, which makes me happy. I'm really, really excited to kind of put this machine through its paces because it's got dual linear rails on Y. It's got a linear rail on X. It only has a single, uh, a single lead screw for Z, but... Uh, I, I, it might, it might be okay. It's got filament detection. It's got some, uh, some custom stuff on the power supply to blow the air. It's got a slice copper head in there, which I'm kind of excited about. Dual fans. This, this whole, this whole piece right here. I like it. It's just sexy. I like it. Uh, Jeffrey W. with $24.38. I've been lurking for years. I'm coming out. Oh, Jeffrey W. That is wonderful to hear. Welcome. Welcome to the crazy. Julio Morales with $5. Hi, six. I'm here. J. Mo SPG Hill, Florida. You're in Cali. I I'm not in Cali. I'm in Seattle up here in Washington. Jake, are you standing in front of a blue screen on purpose? <laughs> yes, I like blue. Sound like Austin Powers. I like gold. Uh, I like blue, so that's what we have. Trail features. You're trying to get out of paying for cross-dimensional shipping. 
don't be cheap. Uh, you make a really good point, trail features, obviously. So and initially, we, we talked about you and un if you win the printer, but you somehow can't accept or can't get a hold of me because of cross-dimensional traveling. I mentioned the TARDIS, of course, and now you're accusing me of just being cheap? Look, I mean, if we're, if we're living in the universe where the TARDIS does exist, it means that I've got multiple methods to find ways of getting it to you. I mean, honestly, right? Hey, tell me how the Earth looks when it suffers from, or uh, when, that, when it's the heat death of the universe, right? Tell me how that looks. Greg Atlas, what kind of lens do you use for your cameras you're using right now? So this one right here, that is a Canon XF400 prosumer video camera, and it's got an integrated lens. This one, hello, it's attached to a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K, and it is an EF mount. So right now it's got a Canon EF uh, 24 to 70 f2.8 lens on it it's a good lens i like that and then on the uh on the off chance that we need to get close i will throw an ef canon uh 70 to 200 f 28 isl on it and those are those, those are the lenses that i use i do have a wide angle one back there but sean hates it when i use it so i don't <laughs> Jeff Sawyer, if you win and are in a TARDIS, just pick the thing up yesterday. You know, Jeff makes a really, really good point, honestly. We were at 56%. 56. And we have 18 minutes left. Joseph Lambert, aren't I in Shoreline? Man, Shoreline represent, boy. Absolutely. I love it here. Well, and my coffee shop's in Shoreline. I love my coffee shop. Dissident, Canadian 699. By the way, F to pay respects, failed prints, is a meme that comes from a Call of Duty where you had to press F on your dead teammate's coffin. I, I remember that. Uh, Maker's Muse, everybody, everybody, Maker's Muse, got to leave. Hey, hold on. So, uh, Maker's Muse, it's beer o'clock. I totally understand. Have one for me. I haven't had beer in a while. I miss it. Um, I hear you're getting one of these. I'm excited to hear your thoughts on it. And uh, I really appreciate you stopping by, man. It's always great. It's always great to see you, even if it is digitally. Take care and see you on the next one. There we go. That was a special goodbye right there. Uh, the, the Andy Outdoor Nerd. The problem with picking it up yesterday is no one would know about it now. Yeah, so picking it up yesterday would essentially mean you're stealing it. 577 entries into the contest. 577. There are currently 1,161 viewers. So half the viewers haven't entered, and I don't know why that is. Donald Parker, for those of us that came late, tell us more about the Wuxen. Well, uh, the WXN Wuxen, WX1, this is this printer right here. Uh, it, is, it is an open source machine. It is priced at 249 US, fully assembled. And there's a code, 3D Printing Nerd, that if you do order one, uh, you'll get $50 off and free shipping in the US. It is uh, meant as a Prusa competitor. It's, it's, it's priced a little bit lower than a fully assembled Prusa. It does have some upgrades in that it's running linear rails on X and Y. And it's got this, this beefy looking thing right here. It's running slice, a sliced copper head. It's also got dual fans for cooling. It, uh, it's got a filament sensor up here. And uh, it's got a reworked little spool holder. It's only got one lead screw. 
one lead screw on Z. It does have an auto bed leveling sensor right there. Uh, it doesn't have some of the perks that Prusa has worked into the firmware, but it is 100% open source and it's running Marlin 2.0 bug fix. So it's got a lot of advanced features. And uh, yeah, it's an interesting machine. Uh, it's uh, made by Makers, I think is what they call it. It's out of Fort Collins, Colorado. And uh, this is the first print off of it. We had a little bit of uh, little troubles early on and some of it was me and some of it was the bed, but we have since got this going and Loyal Moses is gonna get this nut and this bolt once it's done. I hope I covered a lot of it. That was a lot, wasn't it? It was a ton. Nine forty nine. What did I say? Did I say two forty nine? <laughs> it's late. Nine forty nine, with fifty dollars off to make it eight ninety nine. There we go. Sorry about that. Hobby hands with five dollars. High five. Keep getting away your shot. I've had a laser cutter for eight years, but 3D printing has totally changed my world. It really has opened up my creativity. Thanks for all you do. That's great to hear, Hobby Hands. What's really great, doing uh, mixed material works of art because you can take 3D printed pieces and laser cut pieces and work them together. Or have you ever thought about printing something in, in a filament and then laser etching a design onto it? That seems like fun too. One of the things I've always wanted to do is, is get a puck of wood from a tree with the bark still on it. I don't even know if this would work, but then somehow putting a coating on it so plastic would stick and then finding a printer with ABL that can probe it and then have it print in wood filament on the, the tree, like on the, on the, the trunk slice, essentially, kind of print a, a tree shape or something out of wood filament on that. I think that'd be really cool. I think it'd be really cool. Greg Atlas, walks on, walks off. Yes. Yes. The Foreign Hunter, the 949 price is limited time. Retail is 1150. Uh, I wasn't aware of that. I always thought it'd be uh, 949. I'm really sorry about that. Let me let me take a look. Let me take a look. Is it limited time, really? Let's find out. Oh, eleven forty nine, nine forty nine. Does it uh, does it say? Does it say how long? The little sales on for, okay. Well, I didn't know about that. I'll put in a, I'll put in a request. I'll try to find out just how long that's going to be for. Six hundred seventeen entries into the free three D printer, the mystery three D printer. Uh, floods eight eight three three polyurethane. You know, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that. that. That could do it, right? Because that would provide a, a, a material that it could stick to, right? How are we doing? Oh, we're looking so good. Looking so good. We're at 62%. So once it's finished making the nut, which is going to be right there and there, there, uh, and then it'll just be able to concentrate on the bolt right there and it should go a little bit faster. <clears throat> William asked for, I think this printer is neat. I would have to agree with you. <laughs> Loyal, smash that like. We're at 939 likes. That's insane. 940. Let's get to 1,000. Why not? Just hit it. It's free to do. <laughs> and apparently YouTube likes it. Ah, jeez. Teresa. Yes. Yes. A mystery 3D printer. 
Uh, Aaron York, print a bike frame on the big one. That's actually not a bad idea. That'd be kind of fun if I could come up with a flat sort of frame idea that I could print and see if I could write it. I'm a big boy. I don't know. <laughs> Alexandru Koken with RON15. I don't know what the RON is. I don't know. Sort of smarter. Good thing you tightened the grub screw. But I didn't. It was already tight. The grub screw was already tight. Watch this. Watch this. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see. Look at that. It's almost like my hand is holding my image. It's wild. Oh, the things you do at midnight. <laughs> Eddie Moser with five dollars. Is that a la is that a layer shift? Eddie, don't do that to me. I'm looking. <sighs> you butt. It's not a layer. <sighs> hey, we did it! A thousand likes. A thousand likes. Oh, Sean Lewis, tell us what time it is. Well, according, I'm, I'm going to go by my Apple Watch, and it is. 11.52. So eight minutes. Eight minutes. There's no layer. Loyal, there's no, there's no layer shift. You guys. There's no, there's no layer. There's, there's no layer shift. I swear. I swear there's no layer shift. Duct tape, can you please type the name of the winner in chat? to compensate for latency. Yes. Yes, I will. Ian H, if Chep can make a spool cart, you can make a 3D printed bike. Yes. I like this idea. Like, I like it a lot because we're just talking about the bike frame. Just the, uh, maybe, I wonder if I could 3D print rims, like the rims for the bike. Because I, you know, I'm used to rims that have a bunch of those tiny little spokes, but what about those ones that have, you know, cool designs? Is it possible? Oh my goodness. Mystics, thanks for being a member. Practical printing, is that a layer shift in your print or are you just happy to see me? Her, her, her. Chris got the jokes, man. Chris has the jokes. Wesley Welsh, can you print a custom PS5 table? I could, but I didn't get a PS5 order, pre-order. I was using walmart.com and I had it in my cart and I hit buy or I hit buy. It was in my cart. I, I logged in, I put in my payment information, and I hit purchase, and then it said, wait a minute, the item in your cart is sold out. I'm like, oh. That's poor programming. If you're able to put an item in your cart, it's because it's in stock at the time. Like if you go to a brick and mortar store and it's in your cart and you go to pay for it, they don't yank it back when they're like, ooh, sorry, it's out of stock. That is terrible programming. We are at uh, 647 entries. You have five more minutes-ish. The, the, uh, the form to enter is in the description. It's in the description. So head down there, click a bunch of leaks. Uh, Robert Kelly just got my Lot Max Shark. What upgrades would you recommend? Um, I haven't upgraded anything on mine. Uh, the one I originally got, I sent to my producer, David, down in L.A., and he's been using it, and he loves it. He's been having a great time with it. For mine, um, I have a purple one now. Uh, I haven't printed much with it, but there's not really any upgrades I can think of at the time. Mr. Smith, Amazon does that too all the time. I'm really sorry about that. We are at five minutes. Five minutes. You still have time to enter. Five minutes.
Hey, William Asper. Five dollars. High five. I used my university's printer to print parts for my senior thesis prototype. 3D printing is great. I 100% agree with you. Four minutes. Four minutes. Uh, zombies love me. Have you ever custom built a 3D printer? I'm in the middle of designing and building my own. I haven't designed my own. I've built a few custom machines. One of the first uh, Wombot 3D printers from Aurorum 3D in Australia. I had that as a kit, but it wasn't really a kit. It was more like a collection of parts. And uh, I was able to put that together. I think that was my third 3D printer. It was nuts. But I learned a lot from it. I eventually, I eventually gifted that to my uncle, who was uh, an electrician, and he wanted to get some experience with it, like an EE. And uh, I don't know what ever happened to it. I should ask him. But no, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't taken the time to to build my own. I haven't designed like I. I Any time I think about building my own 3D printer, I just look at what Ivan Miranda does, and I'm like, can I just, can I hug him instead? Because <laughs> he's awesome. Uh, Elliot Dyson, what are we doing? Joel, can we have a recap? Also, what's special about this printer compared to a really well-built Prusa? Uh, <laughs> a lot has happened. A lot has happened. I don't know if I have the time to recap it all. Oh, excuse me. Yes, time is almost finished. Travis D, what are your thoughts on the CR6SE? I think it's an incredibly capable machine. I think there's some quality quality control issues out of the gate. Um, I bought two from Kickstarter, and I've only taken one out of the box so far, and it died because the USB port sparked when I plugged something in, and it fried the board. So they're sending me a new board, but they've revved the board. So I'm trying to find out the differences, and I do owe everybody an update video on that. Wuxin 3D, nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts! Is that you, Wuxin? James, is that you? Wuxin 3D in the chat. I, I'm Dollars to donuts, that must be James. I don't know. But nuts and bolts, James, nuts and bolts. Franks and beans! No, nuts and bolts. 11.58, two minutes-ish. Two minutes-ish. So when my watch hits midnight, I'm going to go to the form and I'm going to not take any more responses. To enter the giveaway, it's in the description. It's in the description. You've got one minute ish. In the description, there is a Google form link. I'll need your email address and your screen name on YouTube. I will turn off entries in a minute. And then I will sort, I will put all the results in a spreadsheet and I will randomly sort that row and then I will pick the top. Still got time. Still got time. Still got time. Do it, do it. Come on, get in there. I swear it's gonna stop making, it's gonna start making the top layer on the nut. It's almost there. It's getting super close. Oh, is it doing it right now? It did, it did, I was right. It was making the top layer. <gasps> it is now midnight my time. I am gonna go turn off entries on that form. We are at 711 entries, 712. Uh, how do I turn off the, hold on. <laughs> I have to be, how do I turn this off? Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. And now we are no longer accepting responses. A 
That's right. Look at the, oh yeah. Okay, we got top layers on the nut. Top layers on the nut, which means that, which means that it's gonna go faster. It's gonna go faster. Okay, here we go, here we go. I am going to the form. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Mystery printer winner. Mystery printer entries. Oh boy. We have in total. <laughs> wow. Boy, you guys came in at the end. Look at that. 718. 718 people entered for the mystery 3D printer. And oh yeah, someone someone threw some money in for uh, filament. Someone uh, some people threw some money in and I missed something. Scott Oshiro, 1099. Thank you for creating great content. A donation to your bag of D's fund. Oh, Scott. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I gotta, I gotta sort the, I gotta sort the list. Okay. So tools. No data. I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Hold on. Google Sheets. Random. Okay. That's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do rand between one. Comma. Does that work? I start typing. What? Okay, I'm just working it out. Sorry. <laughs> there was. I'm trying to remember how I chose the the winners before. It was uh, form. Um. Trim white space. Okay, I'm, I, I will figure this out. I'm really sorry it's taking me so long. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so sorry. Google Sheets randomize, randomize row. Oh, that's t power tools. What? No, I don't need power tools. I'm trying, I'm seriously trying to figure this out because I forgot how to do it apparently. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to, I know. <sighs> how to pick random row in Google Sheets. Okay, I should be able to do that. Perfect. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Sorry, jeez. I know. 
<laughs> it's not lost on me. <sighs> okay. There's so many entries, you guys. Okay, how to pick a, let's see. There are 718, I'm just gonna pick a random number. Random number generator, there we go. Whatever, 718 and generate. Okay, I have the number. I have the number. Where is it? I'm trying to sort the list. Shoot. Okay. I'm doing it from a trackpad and it just sucks. <laughs> and here we go. Okay. So the winner, the winner is, the winner is, wait, I'm going to go to, that's going fine. You can, okay, here we go. The winner is, uh, yeah, Dira Sandoval. You've got two minutes. There we go. Okay. So now, yeah, yeah, Dira Sandoval, I need to hear from you in the chat. I am looking on the chat. Yeah, Dira Sandoval. Yeah, Dira Sandoval. Okay, I'm looking for Yadira Sandoval. You've got two minutes. And it's 12.07, because it took so long. Yadira. Now we gotta wait for the response. Here we go, let's see. So if I try to tag Yadira, if I try to tag Yadira in the chat, I'm unable to. Yeah, I'm unable to complete. There, uh, Oh, wait. Okay, where? I'm looking. Wait, here we go. I'm looking, where, where was it at? I'm looking, someone said they responded. Yes, they have responded. Okay, I'm looking. I'm scrolling. There we go. Okay, Yadira Sandoval with here. Okay. Uh, I mean, the rules were you're supposed to tag me, but it's okay. <laughs> there we go. I see you. Uh, there we go. There we go. I see some smiley faces. I see some tags. People are here. She's on mobile. Fantastic. Yeah, Dira Sandoval, I hope I'm saying your name right because you, you are the winner. You are the winner. Thank you. I will, I will, I, I have your email address and I will, I will shoot you an email. I will shoot you an email and then we will, I will get your shipping information and we will, we will send you a surprise 3D printer. So now I need to know, do you want to, uh, and, and uh, Printed Solid, I will, I will purchase the role of Jesse Pele from Printed Solid for you. But now I need to know, Yadira Sandoval, I hope I'm saying your name right. Do you want 
to know the printer or do you want it to be a surprise? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay attention to the chat. So, I need to know, okay, at Adira, want to know or keep a surprise? Okay. The chat's going pretty quick, and so if I, oh, here, I'll go back to that because, oh my goodness, it's, it's almost done. Okay, uh, Yadira, did she say she wanted to see it? I'm, I'm scrolling. Let me find it. She said yes, and yes, yes, okay. They want to know, okay. Okay, I'll go get it. I'll leave you on this print, let me go get it. Oh, the print's almost done. Okay, we gotta hurry. So, Yadira, what I found for you, this was in my stack. This is a TiVo Tarantula Pro. This was a printer that I never took out of the box. It is a complete kit and it has promise. I know it's not the best thing in the world, <laughs> but it is, it is a free 3D printer, and I think it has some promise. I don't know if everybody agrees with me, but I will ship this to you free of charge. I just have to take off a few labels on it that have my address. Oops. So there we go. There we go. Oh, wait, here. Obviously, we need to go back to that, too, because it's almost done. But... But there we go. A TiVo Tarantula Pro. And my watch just reminded me that it's bedtime soon. <laughs> cool. So is everybody cool? It's it's a TiVo, it's a TiVo Tarantula Pro. Oh, and uh it's a free 3D printer. You'll get to put it together. I've heard good things about this one. I hope that, uh, I hope it treats you right. I hope it treats you right. And we're at 95% on the print. This is exciting. So, uh, you want a 3D printer, fantastic, congrats. And now Loyal is seeing his completed print. Obviously we have to wait until the print is done now because we'll pop it off the bed and we'll see if it fits. And that, that will be the culmination of this incredibly epic stream that I keep getting in the way of with the camera. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Alex Swavely stick some stickers in the box. Absolutely. 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 Look at that, we are at 96%. It's just putting some finishing touches on the thread. Hot diggity. Hot diggity. HMX soon, it's already midnight here in the Pacific Northwest. When do you sleep? I do sleep. 
Uh, usually I go to bed between one and three and I wake up between eight and nine. That's my goal. Yeah. Uh, Cobus Grobler, 3D printing here. Thanks for the exciting stream. Really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming along with this. I honestly had no idea. So part of it was, uh, I wasn't sure exactly what was going to happen because this was a take out of the box and start printing with 3D printer. That's what it was billed as. And some of the missteps in the beginning were my own faults just because we're streaming. I'm not paying attention. I'm not double checking. I'm not going slow. I'm more than willing to admit that. Uh, stuff sticking on the bed. I think that was a, that was a, uh, a combination of not setting the Z height right, going the wrong direction one of the way. Thanks chat for telling me, not putting the glue stick down, whatever. But once we got that figured out, like once we got it all figured out, it was just printing away and it looks pretty darn good. And uh, Loyal paid for those. <laughs> uh, Aaron Yorick, time to update the description. True, true. I did stop it from taking any more responses, but uh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Printer giveaway, yeah. There we go. 3D Maker Noob is, is, is he in here? Oh no. Oh no. They'll let anybody in. <laughs> um, obviously, and before this print is done, we're at 99%. It's almost done. So a, a big thanks to Wux and 3D for sending this along. Thanks James for, for trusting me to get it open. Sorry we had some missteps at the beginning, but it was a lot of fun getting this out of the box, showing it off to the audience. They always love correcting me when I'm doing something wrong, which, you know, I'm really good at doing. I'm looking forward to using this machine, putting through its paces and showing off some of the prints I can get with it. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice little offering that I think I will have a lot of fun with. So thank you. Look at that. We're done. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. There we go. Oh, there was that little, um, oh guys, there's that little booger that was on the nozzle. Just, uh, there we go. And then, so now the big question, boy, look at the knurling on that hot diggity. Or as uncle Roger would say, fruyo or something like that. There we go. Okay. Ready? Ready? Oh, wait, I got, it's got to light that up, right? Jeez. Oh, okay. It's not loose by any means, but, and it's, it's not, it's just snug. Wow. Okay. Nice. Oh, and the knurling feels wonderful. Here, let's get it a little closer. Look at the focus. 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 There we go. So look at the knurling on that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's your top layers. Right there. Loyal, these are yours, man. You own these fair and square. I'll shoot you a note on Patreon. I'll get your address and I might throw a couple stickers or something in there for you, but these are yours. Hey, you know what? We did it! Yes! 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 Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. Wonderful chats. So much activity in the chats. Got the printer going. We gave away a 3D printer because why not? Went over a thousand likes. It's, it's wonderful. Like I just, I, I had a great time. This was wonderful. Thank you so, so much for being a part of it. Oh man. So much energy, so much life in the channel. Uh, these, I, I love these streams and it's because of you. It's because of everybody who's watching everybody who is able to participate, communicate everyone who texts me and tells me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> uh, 
I love all of it. So thank you. Thank you to everybody who came by and made it awesome. I look forward to more streams in the near future right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Well, you know what? If you made it this far, you're awesome. A big thanks for everyone that stopped by, hug each other more, and from a safe distance, high five. We're gonna fade to black. What do you say? What do you say? Ready? 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 I have a big button. It says FTB. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave the audio on for a moment because I just wanna say, even though we're faded to black, I think you're all wonderful. I think you're all wonderful and I had a really great time. And, uh, and uh, three hours, 22 minutes. Nova Leary with $2, <laughs> Final Fantasy VII victory fanfare. That's amazing. Jeez. Well, hey, you know what? I got a box of milk duds here. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. Listen, everybody have a good night. Get home nice and safe. Um, we'll see you soon on the next stream. Working on a great episode for this Sunday. It's raining. Big thanks to Wuxin 3D for, for giving us this machine to make this all possible. Let's see. Oh, hey, hey, chat. Wow, it's going pretty quick, but uh, let's see. Kieran, Kieran Muller, see you. Thank you. Simon K, miss you already. Oh, thanks. Charles Fashing with a heart. Heart you right back. It's going, oh, it's. Uh, duct tape, yay, <laughs> sure. Tetralite products, high six, high six right back. Alex Swavely, uh, oh, original follow on Twitch, there we go. Yadira Sandoval, thank you everybody. Thank you for everybody making sure I saw her messages. Roberto Bresser, ciao. Ciao right back, ciao, ciao. Or choose, right, choose, that's another one. 3D printing and painting, bye. See you later, man. Eddie Mosier, Loyal Moses, Practical Printing, you all, uh, you all made sure to keep me going. I appreciate that. JT, love you, bro. Can't wait to see you again in person. Maybe Murph 2021. Liam Hansen, you sleep well as well. Ashley Tokar, see you later. Grayson Miller, it's so fast, it's like Texas. Or Tetris, you still owe us a Benchy on the Insta. Stephen Cook, it's like you know what I'm going to hit print on next, don't you? <laughs> all right, everybody, we're going to end it. Take care. Love you all. Be safe, and we'll see you soon.